that means R users SD daemon is not started in that not machine. Started. So you have to go to that machine and start the service. R user R user service you start. You search for the service SVC minus A grep R user and then start that one, right? Then you will be able to see this. Those are simple problems. I thought you will troubleshoot first. File system, file system problem. That machine file system. Yeah, what is the problem? It is not the file system. Yeah, what is the problem? You have to do file system, then you do get. Okay. Yeah, but you have to tell me what exactly the problem is. File system problem means it can have many problems. Mount is not mounted. Oh, you cannot mount from there to your machine? This machine, it is a spark machine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you share something there, but we didn't talk about share and mounting. Yeah. We'll talk about this. So, so this is created by default. So this is already there. Mm -hmm. This is already there. Okay. Then what about for this card and this card? Do we have anything like this? ETC host dot QFE zero. We assume this is QFE zero. And this is QFE two. Do we have for this? We don't do. Only for the one you selected, it will be created automatically. Can I create one for this? Yeah. Okay, etc. Pose dot QFE2. So this has to be created. And what do you like to put inside this? <laughs> what do you like to put inside this? Uh, the, the network address, network. Not network address. You IP. like to put? IP address. IP address. No, no. We like what, what is the point you're putting IP address? Right? This is not used by the. This is for you to identify the network where it is going. So what do you like to put for this? Host name. No, no. Host name. You just put their accounting. Account. Then I know. Oh, this network card is going to accounting department. It will help you, right? So just put their accounting. Accounting network. So you know that that is going to accounting. So like that you can make use of those names when they are not created, right? Okay. 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 Any, any questions so far? I have questions for the network card. Uh, it's in the first one. Oh man. There's a file hosts C F U R A by the second one. Mm -hmm. No. By the second you need to manual. Which one you need to manually? We have to do it manually. Yeah. Everyone for everyone. Why all other cards? All of them. But you can put it whatever you like there. So easier for me to put the network name, right? Then if there are multiple cards, I know this is going to land. I mean this is going to uh, accounting land. Easy for me. So it's a network name or it's a... Whatever name you like. Whatever you want to put, you can put there. So whatever you feel is useful for you in, a, in an office environment, you put it there. So that you know. That's okay, okay. Say, I, I do tell you again. This is a computer, right? So, yeah. so it has three network cards. This network card is going to sales. Right? But this is the default network card. So it is created automatically. Only one automatically. Only one automatically. Default one. Default. But now you are you are connecting your accounting network here, or connecting your marketing network here. So you like to create something manually also for this. And put something there. I already have DNS when I needed this. Uh, already? I already have DNS name. DNS server. Uh, no, no, no. This has nothing to do with DNS. So why DNS, name, name, DNS will resolve only the computer name, oh, okay. not the network name. This is network name. I'm giving a name for my, my own name for the network. So that if, suppose that, okay, okay, I, I'll give a reason. <coughs> so I went to this, uh, one person complaining, okay, uh, marketing department people are complaining, oh, my network is not working. Then I asked sales people, oh, your, my network is fine, working fine. And he, this accounting guy says, my network is working fine. Then where is the problem? The network. Yeah. Then I will open the ETC these files and check, oh, this is the card. Okay. Then I'll correct that plump. Maybe the card was unplumbed for some reason. Plumb it. Easy for me. For that purpose. 
So this is why you have work, not to do with computer. Right? So, so, okay. So in a network computer, network server, uh, I am the network server. I am solving some problem. I, I am responding to some uh, uh, inquiries or responding to some service requests locally. Yes. And also I am responding to some service requests from a network, uh, from a client from the network. <laughs> for, for example, say I am a NFS server. I have shared my export home. Can the local people use, local people who are connected to this server can use this export home? Sure. Yes. I have shared it. Can the people outside the network, outside the outside me use it? Shared it. I shared it. So if you share, they, can, they also can use. So I may get a request from outside. I may get request okay. inside. So what is the difference between those two requests? You, you understood what I mean, right? Do you understand? I think it depends. Oh, okay. So I have two coffees in my hand, so two coffee cups. One coffee cup for me, my locals. I'm servicing my local this system, right? Another cup to my for my friend. So he's from outside. So he's coming and taking from me. So that is in the network. I'm serving something over the network. This is for my local. local. Okay. If I'm sharing anything, okay. that share is used by me also, right? If I log into myself, I have used that same share, right? So I have to serve myself and I have to serve others, right? Who are the others in this case? I, another computer, another computer, another computer. The people who logged in into those computers, they are requesting. But, but, but within the same network, right? Yeah, yeah. Just local. Yeah. Yeah. Or over the internet. Can be. Coming from home that. It can be anywhere. So how will I differentiate those requests? <laughs> Okay, we assume that this is the server, okay, and this is a client. <coughs> so this is a server, we say NFS server, and this is NFS client, okay. Now this guy, this guy is requesting from this guy something, this guy has shared a directory called uwin pro this guy has shared a directory called uwin pro and this guy shared so this guy is requesting some information from there that is over the network right this request is for a guy who has logged in into this machine his name is tom so tom logged in into this machine and he is asking for a file under the directory you win pro. Is it possible? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Everybody? Anybody? Say no. Yes. <coughs> no? Why? I'm not sure. Why, why? Why? Can't you share anything in Windows environment? Same thing. You can get it from another computer. <coughs> Same thing, right? So I share something here. I am getting this from another computer. You agree? Yes, right? Yes. Then another guy has logged in into this machine. His name is what? Tim, okay. Tim is logging into this. Have you uh, has logged in into this? Can he take the file from here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can it take the same file. Share. Share. It's not shared. For him, it's not. Doesn't have to be shared. But he is using. Sorry. For him, whether it is shared or not, he can get that file provided he has permission to access that. That's it. But this guy has to have two things. One is this has to be shared, and the second thing is he has to have permission to access, right? Is possible? Anybody uh, say agree? Yes. Everybody, <coughs> okay, but he Raymond is to <coughs> why, why can't you share something in a server and access from server? Okay. Pardon? There, the client is sharing the... No, 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 no. This is shared and this is using it. This guy is a user. Client is the user. It's a client machine. Yeah. And this is the server. Server serves, user users. You get the arrows wrong. Pardon? The arrows are wrong, I guess. 
I am also wrong. No, no, I am saying the Tommy is trying to access something from here and then he is getting that. Same way, he is trying to access something from here and getting that, right? So, both ways possible. Everybody say, accept it. What about you? Accept it, right? Oh, you appreciate it. But what, what, what difference does it make? But you know that there should be more permission. And here, there should be less permission, right? There should be less permission. But this to work, there is another activity happening. That activity, in any system, whether it is... Uh, Unix or Linux or maybe Windows also, right? That is called RPC. R RPC, right? What is RPC? Remote uh, call. It's a remote, remote procedure call. Remote procedure call. Because I, I, I am, it's not my own product. It's not my own uh, directory. It's somebody else's directory. I am trying to access. So this guy will get a request from this guy. That's called remote procedure call. That's act that goes through remote procedure call. Right? In your computer, there's a file called etc rpc. Okay? If, if this is not shared, we assume that this is not shared. Then what message this guy will get when he's trying to access that? Ah uh, no, he won't get that message. He will get. No, no, he will get program RPC not program not registered. He will get a message if this is not shared. He will get a message RPC program not registered. What do you mean by that? So what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? You drink some water. <laughs> 